Games often don't work like the real world, and Minecraft is possibly one of the worst culprits of that. And that's why today Game Ranks brings you 10 Minecraft game concepts that make no sense. Number 10, have you ever seen a mining company take an entire mountain down and put it in some chests that they have in their house? I have not, but you have done that, I have done that. Everyone who has played Minecraft has at least taken the valuable stuff out of the mountain, all of it, and that can be quite a bit, and put it in a chest that they kept in their house. Oh, and they also also built their house out of that mountain. Number nine, you want some colored wool? Well, I don't know about you, but when I'm in that situation, I start throwing dye right at the sheep because it changes them on a fundamental, basic level. This is why video games are better than real life, because in real life, if I wanted sheep to have random colored wool, I'd have to conduct expensive scientific experiments. The fact is, I don't have the money for that kind of thing, but I do have Minecraft. Number eight, you'd think that zombies would be out for your flesh, but once they kill you, they just let you be. The happier you're dead apparently. But if you kill a zombie, despite the fact that their flesh is infected or poisoned, if you're playing in survival mode, you're probably gonna eat it eventually. Just to put that into context, zombie kills you, zombie doesn't eat your flesh, you kill zombie, you eat zombie's flesh. Are men the ones that go through childbirth in this universe? Is Superman the bad guy in this universe? Number seven, you need a sign, you need to write something, you need to make sure other people can see what you're saying. Well, you need six wooden planks and a stick. Not unreasonable. You need a boat? Ah. Ah, now that's unreasonable. Wait, wait, wait. You only need four wooden planks for a boat? That's silly because you need less to make a boat than you do to make a sign. But in the real world, if you want a boat, you a load of money. Whereas if you want a sign, all you really need to do is tell any political candidate that you support them and they shove those down your throats. Oh yeah, we want our name out in the lawn. There's too many signs in the real world. Number six, zombies can break down doors, but they can't dig through dirt. They can't rustle their way through the leaves and they can't break glass. Now they can't always break the doors, but they can do it. And last I checked, glass was easier to break than wood. And you know what's even easier to get through than wood? Leaves. But zombies can't do it. Either that or they won't do it. Like either they're really lazy or the zombie labor union prohibits it as some type of weird rule. Number five, if you have a stack of anything and want the top of it to float in midair, just destroy the blocks at the bottom. You want floating platforms everywhere? Not a problem. Either find an existing hill or mountain or something and hollow out the bottom of it, leaving the top because it'll stay there. Or just build a stack of the platform too and build the platform and then remove the stack. I mean, nobody's ever called Minecraft realistic, but this is probably one of the more unrealistic things about the game. Can you imagine what Minecraft would be like if it actually employed physics and made it so all this stuff just fell to the ground? It'd be weird because frankly at this point, I'm used to this. I've used it to make some pretty cool stuff actually. Number four, milk does a body good, but I was not aware that it could cure poisonings. At least in real life, in Minecraft, it clearly can. As your blood becomes more and more toxic and you get closer to death, you become desperate for milk. Because apparently that is a catch-all antidote, which, you know, makes perfect sense. Makes cereal really good, put it in your coffee, and cures all poison. Right? I'm not saying factory farms are good in real life, but in Minecraft, it's time to get on it. With all the random shit that can poison you in Minecraft, you need a milk bank. By the way, the funniest part about this is that you can store a bunch of milk in chests in like a lava room in the center of a volcano and that milk stays fresh. Number three, and this is something that is never going to change about Minecraft. The first thing you have to do is punch down a tree. That's right. You have no idea what's going on in this new blocky world you're in. And unless you want everything to take way longer than it needs to, you're going to need to punch down a tree. It doesn't hurt you, which makes sense, right? Actually, I'm going to go ahead and say it doesn't, but whatever. And you get some wood and you make some stuff. The weird thing is you don't have to make yourself a hospital to go to because you just punched down a tree. Like it hurts to punch soft things hard enough. And then you're like, you know what? This tree needs to come down. Fighting stance. Like I don't care how many eggs you drink in the morning. I don't care if you can beat Ivan Drago. I don't care if you have a statue in the middle of Philadelphia. Punching down a tree is not something I'd want to do, period. And number two, let's just get a little bit more sciencey on you. Skeletons shouldn't be able to swim. Skeletons are bones and bones are calcium and calcium is not something that is going to float. Seriously, have you ever finished up your fried chicken and then put your plate down into a sink that's already full of water? The bones do not float up to the top. They stay with the plate and go down to the bottom. Now, this is not a kind thing to do as there is still grease attached to that chicken and somebody's got to wash that stuff. You should throw it away. But it proves the
the point. Bones don't float, but the skeletons in Minecraft can swim. How is that? Are they hollow? Do they have air inside them? I don't think so. And one could say, well, they're skeletons. That's not realistic in the first place. They're a mystical creature that are likely sustained by magic. And it's like, all right, fine. But even magical stuff has to adhere to some laws of physics and calcium just doesn't float. And finally, this is one that has bothered me since forever. Let's say you need to store chests. You've got, you know, about 1700 chests. You need a place to put them. Why not use a chest? One chest can hold over 1700 chests because you can stack them and you could eventually have so many chests stacked all the same size as each other. If you put them in a physical world, all would take up the exact same amount of space and you can have 1,728 of them in one of them. What? This one has just always blown my mind. Always. It never will not blow my mind. And they're not going to change that. Why would they change that? It's a fact in Minecraft. Just a fact. So what game concepts in Minecraft drive you up the wall? Let's have a discussion about that in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button. And if you're not subscribed now is a wonderful time to do so. We upload brand new videos every single day. And the best way to see them first is a subscription. As always, thank you so much for watching this video. And we will see you again right here next time on Game Ranks.